<laughs> Skinner's got to look up intensity over there. <laughs> <laughs> the warm up is live. I'm killing their entire team. I didn't know you played League. I do. I play it badly. I haven't met anybody tonight. who claims they pay, play League well so far. Everybody thinks they play badly. Upon occasion, I pull off some pretty dank plays that make a difference, but most of the time I just play badly. Except for now, where I just killed their entire fucking team, which was good. <laughs> oh, Martin Shkreli has taken the Fifth Amendment. He's pled the Fifth Amendment at a congressional hearing. I don't know what the hearing's about exactly. I'm assuming that it's how much of a douche canoe are you? Yeah, it's, it's all the uh, overcharges, like the price changes and the medication that's already researched and it's done. The, at what point no, is it was, this it was before, against it was humanity? Before that. It, was it was before that. What did he do? He was, he um, was, he was actually the, busted. The, 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 Funding of one company to pay the debts of another company, Ooh. which is antitrust shit. Yes. Uh, I know more about this than you. It's not even my country. I shouldn't care about America, but I do. Everybody cares about America. What are you talking about? I can't the help best. it. You gave us the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's all you ever had to do. <laughs> what cut my eye from the story from was my... that boop, apparently he boop. sat there smirking Everybody the whole time. Die. At Everybody the fucking die. people Come questioning here. him. And then afterwards in the lobby tweeted that I can't believe that these imbeciles represent our country. <laughs> Which his lawyer's probably like, no! <laughs> I can't be believe this imbecile jury's deciding my fate. Losers. <laughs> probably should have pled a little bit more of the fifth. <laughs> yeah, probably The so. whole fifth, not just a little bit. 140 characters more of pleading the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> That should be the thing. It's like, do you plead the fifth, the whole fifth, and nothing but the fifth? Yep. <laughs> yes, I do. That should be like the official requirement. That's like how you activate your protection under the fifth, is you have to say that exact phrase. <laughs> nothing but the fifth. What do you think? White? No. Oh, you have different curtain? Oh, no, no. It's, it's curtain or no curtain? Is that what you're... Curtain in front of a door. Oh, okay. How was the uh, concert? It was amazing. It was, the sound was perfect. Ooh, I'm listening. The perform performance was perfect, and the, uh, man, some of the technology they pulled out was insane. I'll show you some photos after the, after the podcast. Sweet. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody who puts on, like, a, a special live show in quite a while, like, with technology and stuff. Most of the bands I go to see, it's just loud. And they've got like maybe a good light show, but there's no technology. It's it's just lots of stage presence and stuff. I think they had like ten different uh like ball drones with like like light strips around them and they would just come and they would fly down and they would in, in sync. Oh, I was wondering was when someone was gonna use amazing. drones at a concert. Oh they <laughs> and then they used a drone that was like bigger than my car flying around the uh arena during one song. Okay, so if everyone complains about my keyboard, is scanners worse than mine, or is that what my keyboard sounds like? That's about what yours sounds like. Um, so it's like 10% worse than your keyboard, maybe. Maybe okay, 10%. Cool. 10% better, because it's mine, right? Let's That's watch the phrasing. Scanner is a, uh, I guess, a forceful typer, like myself. I type like I talk, with authority. <laughs> <laughs> I type, well, I mean, I type that, that, is, that is the most internet <laughs> forum commenter <laughs> sentence I've said in a long time. That, that, that should be my flair on every fucking thing on Reddit. Oh my god, these dudes are terrified of Types me. I don't blame authority. them, because I'm obviously awesome. <laughs> this fanfiction didn't know what was coming. <laughs> So do we read this title for the podcast, Jeremiah, as he has the question mark as like the division beta? Oops, I'll beta? take that off. What? Sorry, sorry. Are you sure that's what this <laughs> <Sorry>! is about? <laughs> sorry. Maybe, maybe he's implying that it wasn't even good enough to be a beta. Division beta worst game ever or best game ever? <laughs> you won't believe I Jeremiah's awesome thoughts. I went like clickbait thumbnail on my division video. I was like, the division, does it suck? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> So how is like, that? Oh my god! I didn't even think it might suck, but now there's a possibility. <laughs> I must click this video. What could the opinion possibly be? Someone IG, IGN's was probably the worst. They they asked if it was this year's Destiny. Nah, Destiny is this year's Destiny. Yeah. <laughs> 
they um a guy posted on r slash let's play he said oh i guess sex appeal does work and he's got a small let's play channel so most of his videos get like five to six views and it's all there's some game where the subtitle is seduce me it's some anime looking game um but then for one of the thumbnails he took an i guess a shot from the game of this anime young couple embracing a lusty pose and stuff and put that real big in the thumbnail and that one had like 45 views <laughs> <laughs> i hope that ratio doesn't hold like i hope that doesn't scale quite like that it probably does but one thing that was really weirded me out i've complained about this a couple of times in the last month or so you uh doing a lot doing fun <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Do we follow out videos? There's a lot of fallout thumbnails that like violate YouTube's official like community standards. I mean a ton of totally inappropriate thumbnails for fallout videos. I like don't what, know how to they get away show actual it. fallout graphics which are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> that should be against the guidelines. Only concept art allowed for fallout for the screenshots or for the thumbnails. All right. Screenshot clearly shows unmodded Bethesda textures. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Scanner, if you stand there and wait for five or six minutes, they will load in and it'll look better. Okay? Eventually. You're just not being patient. It's got to get through all the other objects in the world. How dare I expect more than one frame every five minutes? <laughs> I started it, screenshotting the super bad textures where they just won't, wouldn't load in, but after like the first 20 screenshots, I was like, oh, yeah, this, there's no point. And just think, Jeremiah, it gets worse with the settlements I'm doing where I'm crushing the frame rate by half. I've loaded into a settlement before and started taking screenshots after like a minute and 30 seconds. And then it's like squinting at a texture and been like, wait, wait, wait for it. After about 15 seconds, it just like sharpens. <laughs> like it's like struggling. All right, Scanner, is your match done? Yep. Just literally put the nail in the coffin. Talk Ooh. a bit of shit in chat about how I'm better than everybody. <laughs> And now I'm done. All right, sweet. That's the warm up. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to go live? All set. Sure. I'm actually going to blow my nose before we do. Oh, that's I got a haircut today. You guys can't really see. They shaped my beard. It looks better in person. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. I mean, it's hard. That, that was so defensive so fast. Because <laughs> I know you guys are probably like, where? I don't see a beard. Is that facial hair? Did, did they, did they, oh, so they, did they trim it, it off? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where's cut? Joel? I noticed Joel is never here when I'm here because he's afraid of me. Joel sure. is working on Norman still. He's always working actually, on Norman. Actually, you know he's, working, he's working on another project tonight. Oh, yeah, that's going to be oh, his right. last yeah. guardian. He just got back from um from California. He was meeting with his composer, so I think he's behind on regular work, and that's where he is tonight. All that boring regular work. Mm. It's not making movies. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Uh, yeah, no time codes tonight. It's all right, Dave. You weren't planning on doing it anyway, I know. I mean, I can reach behind me. My, no, my don't just... My post-it note, the, the post-it note is right there. I can just go back and get it. terrible excuses every week. It's like... If you want me to scoot back while we're live and just get the post-it note... It's like I'm asking you, codes. Dave, Dave, can I have half of your blood, please, Dave? Would you mind? I mean, if, if you feel like you really <laughs> need it... Is it the blood with the coffee in it, or... <laughs> well, you don't want that. No, if me. you can wait like eight or nine hours so I can strain some of the coffee out, let your kidneys try to keep up, and then give me that blood? You need a few <laughs> days. You're still working on Monday's coffee. <laughs> All right. Then I guess we'll just go ahead and go live. Wait, I gotta... Wait, I gotta turn the effects off. Wait. <laughs> go away. <laughs> <laughs> how pissed with Jeremiah <laughs> meow <Oof. laughs> what was on your head da, 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 da. well damn I can't get any of this stuff off well, the professor says that we should be starting soon. <laughs> I'm screwed. <laughs> Joel, that just stayed there when you were laughing. Mumble, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
We haven't started recording Audacity in <laughs> your hearts. <laughs> Been working on my beard. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm done. What's wrong? Well so <laughs> What? Hello there. Hello chap. Casual shenanigans. Oh man. Oh, backgrounds. <laughs> Are we live? Do we have any? Uh, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, we're okay. yeah, we're live. Let me actually, actually, yeah, let me actually, I should probably check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're definitely live. Welcome okay. everybody. I don't, I don't see, I don't see the link. Can, can you link me to it? <laughs> <laughs> what, wait, 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 chat's disabled. Go in and enable chat. We need chat. Okay. Uh, Why else are we doing this silly shit? <laughs> okay how do i where do i go to chat uh this is why we don't use hangouts but there's i mean there's got to be a chat enable on the youtube side of things uh, <laughs> Whoa, joel help uh joel help me uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Uh, how do I? I can't see the freaking video. Can some. Uh, <laughs> I link. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, here's. There's a, link, there's a freaking link at the bottom. Son of a gun. Oh, you can't even find. Wait. Oh, if you just go to our channel. I went to it. It wasn't showing up for me. Uh, crap. Live control room. Broadcast alert. Oh, man. I love it. We have nine people watching this. Joel. <laughs> Two of them are Jeremiah and Dave saying, what the heck do we let them do? <laughs> chat, chat to say, to say, how do I uh, freaking... <laughs> <laughs> okay. How to... In a world where Joel doesn't know how to enable chat. Oh, God! How to enable comments on YouTube stream. <laughs> dead air, dead air. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> what is that? It looks like a thing of corn on your head. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Okay, oh my gosh, do I, have to, do I have to log in? I, you might as well. I'm just, I, I don't see... Hearts. Gosh. Advan oh, advanced setting. Here, enable live chat. It's, it's. No. On this video, it says it's already enabled. Hmm. I'm so glad we're live for this. <laughs> <laughs> Send us emails instead of chatting. Uh, how do I live chat default? Live chat is enabled by default and will appear to the right of the video player only when your event is active. But this event. is an event. Does I do I have to change this to an event? Maybe. Yeah, maybe it's not. Well, I've never watched subscribers unsubscribe like <laughs> on the live. <laughs> Like watch the numbers go down immediately. Okay, uh, maybe on. Oh, man, I don't know what to to do on here. I mean, we could just start. Yeah, I mean, we really could just just. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what what button to hit because uh, in advanced settings, it already says enable live chat. So I don't know. Live events. Anybody? Yeah, I mean, outside of uh, automatically block spam messages. Did you go to live control room? Did you check any of these settings? Yeah, I went through all of it. I did, Debbie. <clears throat> Well, if we guess we, if we can't figure this out in a few minutes, we'll just go on without chats. We'll just giggle to ourselves. But um, what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, it, it says it should be there. Okay. All right, well, then let's just let's just go without it. So I got to apologize to you, James, for I, I edited last week's podcast right when I got back from the concert. Mm -hmm. Did you listen to it? No, I haven't. I listened to it later. I was like, ooh, I had some ear fatigue. The EQ is not right. The compression stuff's OK because you can just do that by the numbers. But the, the EQ, I should have waited and let my ears fully recover. So I apologize. <laughs> well, it was the CAD, too. No, no, it, it, um, it's not, you guys didn't sound bad. Like Joel sounds worse than normal. Like everything, it just sounds pretty thin. Oh, mm. gotcha. Because my, the high end in my ears was a bit muted, but. <laughs> I'm definitely the, um, the old man, James, at concerts now. I brought earplugs and stood in the back. <laughs> so I'm it that guy. It was like the back back. It was like the side back. You know, yeah. when we went to Muse, I was shocked at how good the sound was. Like, it, mm -hmm. they didn't have to blast it, like, insanely loud. Mm -hmm. um, I actually took my earplugs out because it was just, like, right at the perfect level. Nice. To, to, like, to feel it, but not have any kind of repercussions later. Mm -hmm. I took them out for, for the actual, um, you know, flagship band. But oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. They, they were the loudest. And actually, yeah, but, their singer, the EQ, was jacked on his mic for the first couple songs. Yeah. It was, I don't know if you heard, it was so thin. It was yeah. so thin, and the high end was just, yeah. Because he was actually using his mic properly, where the bands before were a lot meeker, the opening bands. Yeah, yeah, and, they were. Yeah, the EQ was all messed up for him. Which is why a lot of opening bands don't sound that good, is because the sound man doesn't want to waste time trying to make them sound decent when the main act is <clears> going to be so much tighter and so much more worth it. It was good stuff, though. That was a lot of fun. It was very good. It was awesome. One of the best metal shows I've been to. Did you, also, uh, was... did you mosh? No, I don't no. mosh really anymore. Yeah. I, I never actually have been. I've always been. <laughs> yeah, you've never moshed, Dave? Yeah, I, I mean, not, not like enthusiastically, no. Like, like very, very mild-mannered moshing, you know? Casual jumping, moshing? Jumping, Oof. jumping with people. Oof. Yeah, Oof. yeah. Not, Oof. yeah. Of course, most of the people there, it'd be a bad, like, they were very enthusiastic, but the fight dancers were so bad. People were just getting like clocked in the face <laughs> and stuff. I went to a metal show at a an actual theater once, James. Um, mm -hmm. and they had like a like a really nice balcony. Like it was, it was like some really old theater. Like it are was we live for the warm up, by the way? Yeah, yeah, the warm up's live. Yeah, yeah, it's live. Oh. <laughs> Does uh, affect anything you were gonna say or? I I just can't see it. Oh, oh, we're on uh, my channel tonight. Oh. Mm hmm. Yeah, I we definitely sat in the balcony like old folks for the metal concert i haven't been to a concert with a with seats in a while i i, I have to draw a line in the sand somewhere <laughs> so i've got a bit of a story for the warm-up i was very excited to upgrade my office chair after six years and a lot of months recently working from home <laughs> Get a really good deal on a uh, nice, um, what's the mattress company? The, uh, I messed it up last night. It's Serta. Serta. What Serta. did you call it? Sherpa? <laughs> no, not, not Sherpa. <laughs> Serpa. I was close. Um, Sherpa I got, mattresses will get you through anything. <laughs> Man, that could be comfy. 
got a got a nice chair from them and i was so excited because it was supposed to arrive last friday and there was snow scheduled for monday and as as i expected we had a, a day off monday a snow day half day tuesday so it was like a f you know three and a half day weekend um spent tons of time editing videos and stuff on monday chair never showed up on friday so i spent all those extra hours on the long weekend and my old crappy now falling apart uh, old chair uh, still no chair as of today, so I finally called this morning, and they're like, oh yeah, it was, uh, it was delivered on Friday, yeah, BM signed for it, and I'm going, ha, huh, no idea who that is, <laughs> so yeah, someone definitely, uh, basically stole the chair at I this point, the chair. I mean, it was delivered by a freight company, and a giant, uh, I think it was, it was Office Max, or Office Depot, one of those office places, like a giant labeled box, they're the same company now, oh yeah, that's right, yeah, mm -hmm. Well, why do they still have two names? That's right, because the logo has both names in the logo now on the website. Why? Office Max, Office Depot. So it's customer just, loyalty will keep happening while they... It, yeah, there's so much loyalty for those companies. Uh, so whoever out there has my new chair, my butt does not appreciate last weekend, but I hope you like it. <laughs> if you're a regular listener to the podcast, you just return it, no questions asked. The, um... The odds of that being true are very low, but I'm just <laughs> throwing it out there. <laughs> I hear Dave ticky typing away. The mic's not directly over the keyboard this time, just pretty close to it. <laughs> so James, have you been doing any like sample recordings and stuff with your no, mic? No, I haven't even had time, honestly. Oh, okay. Well, it looks nice, and you've been talking about getting that mic working on for the podcast for like a year and a half, so... Well, I had I hardware, it just stopped working, and then Windows 10 made it almost impossible to... You didn't have a good interface, did you? Well, I had an interface, but the operating system, like the drivers oh, weren't good for it. Was it like a, um, was it like a FireWire interface or something? No, it was a, it was a PCI card. Oh, oh, yeah, and it wasn't supported anymore? Yeah. Like, it actually worked um, on one or two of our podcasts back in the day. I remember you using one. And um, then it, like, it just wouldn't route for some reason. Mm -hmm. It wasn't plug and play, so you had to specifically route host to source. And So am I the only one who's not using Windows 10? Yeah. yeah maybe it's time. Microsoft knows the least about you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, James, you're, uh, you're always bragging about your internet, so I, I got to brag a little bit. Um, I did a speed test uh, after the ISP guy left earlier today. Um, and now that the connection is like it's like ninety nine percent stable, but I'm on that like the the one month free trial of the two hundred dollar tier, <laughs> and I'm I got oh you uh, mean my fifty dollar tier? Yes, yes, your fifty dollar <laughs> tier. Um, and it's currently at one oh three down and eleven up, and it is beautiful. It's gonna be hard yeah. to go back. It's, Preloaded the division yet? Well, that's how they get you. Yeah. Um, yeah, my, the, the tech guy is, I got an awesome tech guy who came out to help me. He's like, he's working on the cable inside my office yesterday. He's like, you, uh, you hear about that free trial we're doing? You get two months free of the upgraded plan? He's like, yeah, let me, let me put a call in for you. <laughs> so he like called it in for me and he, uh, he gave me the exact date I have to call by to avoid any fees or overages for the, for the plan. He's like, call by April 4th. You're totally good. Now what it's you like need a free to do, trial of crack. Like, what you yeah, need to do yeah, is, yeah. Try. is call them and say, hey, so uh, I lost <laughs> the voucher that gave me this for a year. Um, you guys have that on your end, right? <laughs> you don't? Can I speak to a manager? Uh, <laughs> maybe you'll lose me as a customer forever if you don't give this to me. I have options. <laughs> I mean, the pricing is just, it's ridiculous. And the really unfortunate part is, even if I went to like the $150 plan over the $99 one that I have now, the upload only goes from five to like seven for another 50 bucks. You get two more megabits up. That's not Ooh. worth it at all. All right. I tested for you, Dave. I got 116 over 11.35. Nice. And also a much fatter wallet. <laughs> if you continue to use that. Uh. I liked my 50, 50 when I had that. Everyone did. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's all about to upload. Download doesn't matter, past a point. I also had to ask about our um, 
The telephone pole on our side of the street is leaning at like probably 16, 17 degrees and looks about 100 <laughs> years old. <laughs> I was like, so, so who should I call about this pole here? He's like, yeah, you, you probably want to call the power company because they're... If it's one of their poles, they'll be out pretty quick to fix that. <laughs> he's like, because like, they'll be coming out to fix it in a storm either way. They might as well do it now. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I had to climb that yesterday. Not great. <laughs> that yeah, would be a way a to fix your guy, uh, too. I saw him. He was he was pretty small. I was like, if yeah. I had to climb that pole, I don't know how I'd feel about that. That thing wasn't it wasn't like a telephone pole, James. It was like a quarter size telephone pole it, height yeah. and thickness, and it was yeah. leaning. But yeah. it wasn't like leaning like it tilted over in the ground. Like it was curved. Like. It's with, a, with an average of, of 15 degrees or so overall, 15 to 20 degrees, and yeah. the nice curve. <laughs> this could be a way to fix your car. Mm. Just push it on over. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I always park underneath the big telephone pole. <laughs> Out by the street, doesn't everybody? <laughs> yeah. Dead air. Uh, I'm answering a comment. Feel free to do some of the talking yourself. Mm. Mm. So mm. does Superman ever wear green? I didn't know green was the Superman. Oh, that's that's, that's Eco Man. Eco Man. Super Eco Man. It's Green Man. <laughs> Better than Night. No. Is it just the Superman logo goes on everything, and that's why they have it? Pretty much. Okay, can you pull your uh, pop filter down a little bit? Just the pop filter, not the mic. Don't, you just don't, you don't have to. <laughs> but he does. <laughs> Why are you the unruly child? <laughs> you always... have children, you know what this does to me. <laughs> I know. I have to get that anger out somehow. <laughs> You're like, if I suffer, they all shall suffer. <laughs> it's like I can only take so much, someone's got to spill out into someone else. That's normally when people hit their children, but oh no, you gotta take it out on your friends. I'll hit you then. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> All right, uh, we have a we have a big podcast. You guys just want to get to it before the coffee yeah. wears off, preferably. Oh, okay, before the coffee wears off. All right, so you get about five minutes. <laughs> Time All to right, brew Sounds the next good. pot. But Dave, we're going to talk about Hardline Premium tonight. Mm. Be still. My beating heart. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys ready? Yep. Let's do it. Dave, get ready with the time. <sighs> Not giving you any excuses. <sighs> mm. Get ready. We are live for the warm-up now. Nice. Monkey's <laughs> uncle. I'm Debbie for the warm-up. <laughs> uh, hey, hey and the jokes. mom jokes are gonna be on the podcast. <laughs> the mom mm. jokes. <laughs> Mom jokes aren't really a thing, are they? No. It's like, clean your room. <laughs> <laughs> God. Not my mom. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Welcome to the sexist podcast, where the only sexist person is the woman. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just call her the woman. Yeah. <laughs> That's sexist. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> Did you guys see that the uh, the flame in the flood is out of early access? That's the... um. I don't know what that is. Here, I'll I'll put a link. Can I put a link in my own chat? <laughs> was that Let's from see. the weather yesterday? There we go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, dynamic like river based survival game. Like you like you're traveling down a river, and it's like different every time you play. And you like land, oh. and you get supplies, and you keep going down the river. I hadn't heard of that. Um, yeah, I didn't realize it was so close to actually launching, but it's getting great reviews. Mm -hmm. It's been on my radar for a while. Um. I think it's I'm, on sale on Humble Bundle. I, I'm watching my Skype feed like fade into like calling from the moon occasionally. I, I, I didn't want to bug you there. Speaking of which, so Facebook has live streaming now. I don't know if you guys knew this. And a photographer I follow posted something on Facebook. Hey, I'm live streaming this photo shoot I'm doing with this music musical artist. Come watch right now. And I was like, okay, why not? <laughs> It destroyed my computer. I don't know how they're doing live streaming on Facebook, but <laughs> Firefox locked up and then I couldn't control alt delete out of it. Like I couldn't get the task manager up and then everything started stuttering. And then 30 seconds later, I'll get the task manager up. I kill it. And then his voice is still talking. <laughs> Firefox is not a process. And his voice kept going for like another 30 seconds, but the video never moved. It was just audio. Like I know live streaming is probably a little bit of a hard thing to do because it, so many places don't do it well, but I mean, YouTube has 
figured it out. No, Dave. <laughs> YouTube's figured it out. Like, I don't know why people don't just use YouTube. Like, why do they all want their proprietary thing? Well, that's Facebook's thing is there. If you have you seen the thing, Jeremiah, where if you post a YouTube video to a Facebook page, they change how it's displayed to make it less attention grabbing. But if you upload that same video to Facebook's video service, it gets like this massive, beautiful, like dynamic thumbnail, dynamic, like title, like it has all these more interaction features. There was a blog that I saw that shows you how to like trick Facebook into displaying your YouTube links nicely because they're purposefully trying to push them below their own video links that are hosted on Facebook. Wow. And there's a lot of channels or pages on Facebook that are uploading uh, popular YouTube videos. Oh, and YouTube, I've seen those. Yeah. You, they'll take days to take them down because they'll make $3,000 of ad, ads off of the stolen video. They love it. Well, because videos that got like 100,000 hits on YouTube will get like millions on Facebook because it's not really views in that sense. Like it shows up in your feed yeah. and starts playing whether or not you want it to. So millions and millions of people see Sometimes it. Sometimes several times a day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So millions of people see it, even if there's nothing really to see and they're not really watching it. So I don't know. And what I really don't like is celebrities. Their social media teams will just shamelessly steal and repost other people's content. Yeah. So people think it's the, that celebrity is so cool or so with it, supports the troops, and they're just stealing other people's work. Kind of pisses me off. <laughs> did they steal your work at one point? Uh, someone did rip a couple of my videos once for um, a montage they were making of, of like a battlefield montage, but I didn't. <laughs> it it wasn't <laughs> worth following up on that. It was a channel with like six subscribers. Actually, Actually I, stealing content, Dave. What? Speaking of stealing content. Oh yeah, Dave. What happened to you? What? <laughs> uh, remember your Arma content? Just earlier today. Oh, oh, the, those video reposting sites—they're they're everywhere. If you look for my channel stuff, it's like all over these Russian and Chinese video hosting websites. But it's linking to the original videos. It's just embedding them to display their ads around it. So that's fine with me. I don't care. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, occasionally I actually come across those sites, and I get like maybe a hundred views off those sites over like months because they don't get any real traffic. Just people who accidentally stumble onto it. Like this is not what I wanted, and they just get the hits anyway. But I'll like see those sites in my analytics. Like, what's this random Russian like URL that I'm getting traffic from? Oh, they reposted the video. That's <laughs> Oh, well, it's funny, Jeremiah, that you should mention the, the battlefield like footage theft, though, because the only time I've ever actually had to do DMCA takedown notices was the first couple of Silence in the Storm videos for Battlefield 3. I had people re-upload those like a couple different times, just like a complete re-upload. And the great part was they weren't even cropping off like my splash screen off the end. So like well, that'd be, be a lot of work. You'd, you'd be like on like Billy Bob's gaming channel and like you watch this Battlefield 3 video and at the end it's like subscribe to Evil Viking 13. <laughs> like the ultimate laziness. But man, they, there was a time period when I mean Battlefield 3 and like DayZ were two of the games that a lot of people like built channels off of those games. So there was I think some some footage theft going around for sure. Yeah. Better than cheating in the actual games themselves. Right? <laughs> oh, what do you suck? There are people who like not only cheat in the games, but you know, then use that footage to like get popular. That would suck. Be a real <laughs> terrible people. <laughs> so apparently, Shane is sick from uh, from Little Caesars Pizza, which I feel bad for him. But I would just like to say. That's what anyone who eats at Little Caesars should not be surprised when that happens. He had or, fair warning. He had fair warning. Uh, yeah. Which I think it was almost like the temptation of like the dark side. He's like, I He's have like, to see. I, I've seen all pizza. I cannot consider myself a true pizza connoisseur if I don't taste from the dark side. Has he had like one of those one dollar uh, like Dollar Tree frozen pizzas? Nothing is worse than the pizza that we had when we were in D.C. Um, waiting for oh. Muse. Okay, yeah, yeah. I heard I heard there was a bad one. What was it? Was, it? It, was, it was a random cafe, um, but it was pouring down rain, so we were just like, let's just find a place. Okay, this place has pizza on the menu, so that'll do. And the pictures looked decent, but the pictures were not what they put in the oven or took out of the <laughs> oven. Um, I mean, the dough was definitely a frozen dough, but it tasted like um, 
what are they called? Those little snack packs that they have. Not snack packs. Um, Lunchables. <laughs> Lunchables has little pizzas that are like this little like cracker. They have crackers that you can smear it's, paste. It's on. not even <laughs> crack. It's like the consistency of play doh. It's um, like a stale pita. And the the sauce was just really just nasty and like flavorless. And the cheese the cheese didn't even have any flavor. And the pizza and the pepperonis didn't have that pepperoni flavor. It had that frozen flavor. So mm. it was oh. a bad experience. And did you get sick later though? I did not. Okay. Well, that's good, at least. I don't get sick off the right. <sighs> My internet connection issues have me so paranoid that I keep thinking that I see the amber light on my router out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> I can be like, no, but it's, it's still blue. It's just like it's lights inside my computer doing stuff. Although I'm watching my video free, like freeze and, and freak out. Oh, yeah. Your video is truly garbage. I'm, I'm kind of regretting the fact that I'm recording this at like 30 megabit right now. Like, it really feels like a waste. <laughs> Uh, Joel says that his drive ends at 945, but he can do his 90 seconds earlier if need be. So I don't know if he's saying, call me while I'm driving or after. I assume well, we'll before. call him. We'll call him before then. We'll call him. Uh, okay. Then. Okay. I mean, how much, how much more time do we need to waste before we can just start the show here? Do you think? Well, while we're talking about pizza, uh, yeah, let's definitely, let's do it. Let's do let's, it. Let's, just, let's, <laughs> let's, let's go for it. Uh, and Shane has commented on this, uh, this photo, I once bought a uh, $1 Kroger pizza. It was like on clearance <laughs> oh. and microwaved it. Oh, what is wrong and with you? It doesn't look like a pizza. Like it doesn't look like <laughs> it didn't taste um, like a pizza either. <laughs> no, no. It, the, OK, the tomato sauce was orange oh. and it was most it was most of what you could see. Because there was so little, like, little cheese when you microwaved it, it all shrunk towards the middle, and the middle was cold. <sighs> Dave, have you had the dollar store steak? Ooh. Oh, no. I actually have you, a, you mean, I have you a mean the cat food that's not good enough to serve to animals that they pour into a tray? Exactly. It's like these really thin slices of, like, really good steak. Well, it's not really good at all. And they, they like, I don't know what they do with it, but you cook it, and it turns, like, gray. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. I don't do it. Whatever you do, it's, it's like the jerky that messed up yeah. in the drying <laughs> process. So they just sold it as steak. They just soak it in tuna juice and throw it in a tin. Oh. <laughs> so you guys know how much I love Costco, right? Um, I know it sounds like I'm just shilling Kirkland stuff again, but Kirkland pizza—they're they're not frozen, but it's um, it's refrigerated. It's in the refrigerated stuff section. Take There's and so much pepperoni on top of it. You can't see cheese. You only see cheese when you cook it and the pepperoni shrinks up some. That's how much pepperoni they put in their pizzas. $9 for a large pizza. One of the best pizzas that I've ever taked and baked from anywhere. Taked and baked. For <laughs> Taked and baked. Took, took and book. <laughs> Talking. Like like uh, let's start the podcast. Taken and bacon. All right. Oh, okay. Follow yeah. Gamer. I like your, uh, your name. <laughs> James likes the name 20, 2255 is that a year that fallout that's a fallout year is that significant is that when it starts I think the other 2254 were taken so <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what it is it fallout happened sometime after 2200 right I think it was 2100 is when the war started 2177 I, I think it was 2077 oh yeah yeah <sighs> Uh, Kenneth, yeah, this that's what happens when your office is also like your armory and workshop. There's a lot of guns within reach. <laughs> You'll never see where mine are. <sighs> if you think that the guns that you see are the, all the guns that are here, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Any man crazy enough to build his whole house on, a, on an incline like Dave did, you don't know where the guns are. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dave, it, it's... It's less inclined than it is normally. I'm surprised you didn't change your fire extinguisher for some other target today. It's not actually pointing at the fire extinguisher. <laughs> the fire extinguisher's in front of it. Why is it like a thing of ballistic gel? It's an illusion. I should get one of those like sand buckets to put right there underneath. <laughs> it seems safer than it, it's just going to go off and you won't hear it because it's a suppressor. It's just going to go off and then your whole office is just going to be full of white stuff. That would ricochet so bad, like in Fragment. That would be awful. 
Like, it would be. Uh, it would now. It would probably hit it and then just start spraying really bad and like roll around on the floor. I doubt it would. I doubt it would ricochet. I bet it would go straight in. Think so? Yeah. I don't how know thick how thick is, a fire extinguisher is. I don't know. It how, can't be that thick. They're not that heavy. That's true. I bet it it's might, like it might go right. There's in only there. one way to find out. Th- they are hollow points though, so it. Could oh, I've fracture. shot one before. I've shot one. Of course you have. An empty one. An empty one. We used like we used it, and then we had it laying around, so we shot it. It it, it wasn't that bad. It went right then. I don't think it went through. But it <laughs> Did went you in. use it on the camper? The gun? No, the uh, <laughs> fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. No. <laughs> on, on that. I, I don't night. know why you would ask that. I, I mean, you did tell a story about it catching on fire. Yeah, it was an electrical fire. Okay, I just unplugged my house and the fire went out. <laughs> <laughs> unplugged my house and smothered the fire, and it was fine. <laughs> I think they do make um, fire extinguishers for electrical fires. I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely did not have one because I was not anticipating that happening. <laughs> <laughs> what, you were plugging your house in and didn't think there would ever be any kind of issue with that? My sister used a fire extinguisher a couple weeks ago because she was cooking something in the toaster oven because my parents refused to own a microwave. And uh, she kind of caught it on fire whenever she was cooking. And my parents are under the opinion that this was not a fire worthy of a fire extinguisher. She said the flames were reaching the cabinets. But she stayed calm, she went and got the fire extinguisher, and she covered the entire kitchen in it. <laughs> Nothing caught on fire. And my mom says, apparently, if you ever do have to use it, she said that stuff is not going to come out of everything you own for weeks and weeks. It's like, every <laughs> time you pick something up, like, fire extinguisher dust just falls out. So it's like sheetrock dust, then? Probably, is, yeah, yeah. I, I swear, like, sheetrock dust is like shavings of Satan. <laughs> it's, it gets <laughs> everywhere, and you'll you'll never see the end of it. Like, you will find sheetrock dust under something at some point if you've ever done anything with sheetrock in your house. The, it's, uh, Tyler it's says, awful. dank nose candy. I was going to make a, a the devil's powder joke, but I guess that's good enough. <laughs> I'll do some, uh, some channel FAQ before we, we go live. We got yeah, some absolutely. New, some new viewers out here that are we do. Um, well, welcome to Dave's newest Total War series. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four-way co-op. Uh, we're actually going to battle in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you guys are new, this is the Casual Shenanigans Gaming Podcast. I'm one of the co-hosts. Uh, we're going to go officially live here in a second. But to answer a couple of questions, there's more Fallout coming. There was supposed to be Total War today. I'm actually wearing my uh, my Total War T-shirt that I just got this week. I'm very happy to have. Uh, but my internet has been dying over and over again today. The upload has failed six times so far, but uh, Chrome is kind of awesome. It's actually resuming every time, so uh, it'll be up probably late tonight. I just don't want to upload uh, during the podcast because it's been going down. <laughs> because you can't. Because <laughs> I literally can more bandwidth loss. Uh, me and my my tech from my ISP are basically best buds now. We see each other like constantly. Now the uh, the stream shouldn't go down even if Dave's internet goes down. Um, I'm I'm streaming it actually, so if it does go down on Dave's end, we're gonna call him in on his phone and we'll keep the podcast going in case something happens. But uh, yeah, this is hosted on my channel, but I might disappear briefly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault, guys. But I have your your stream key. Unlimited power only in this one area. <laughs> I'm like hovering over the reset stream key button. Pull the plug. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to do this? Let's do it. Dave, how do you feel about uh, timing the podcast this week? On my channel, you come into my house. You come into my house <laughs> and, and ask, ask you to it. count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a second. All right. My phone was charging. It's very warm right now. So I was using the wireless charger. <laughs> Given that it's a Nexus 5 and a couple years old, is this like the fifth of five charges today? Or uh, you, you joke, but I kept charging it until like 3 o'clock today, and then I had a couple phone calls, went for a haircut into the grocery store, and came back, and I was down to like 60%. I was like, I was like out of the house for two hours and barely used it. It's not great. <laughs> um, getting the clock going here. Put and 33 right. minutes on the clock. Surprise for anyone who knows what's that in reference to. I know, I know. It doesn't count. Oh, not you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Have we given away that copy of Witcher yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> 
We should give away a copy of Witcher tonight if it hasn't been claimed yet, Jeremiah. What do you think? Well, I mean, now that you're announcing that live and we can't talk ben, about it, ben, about ben kind of asked for it, didn't he? No, uh, he said that his girlfriend's brother might want it. I gave him my contact info. I've not heard from him. It's been a couple of weeks, so <laughs> maybe he was the guy that wanted it on the podcast. It's on sale from GOG for the same amount, so I mean, I mean, yeah, I guess since you brought it up, Dave, I, I you're, have on, an idea. you're on your channel, streaming. We're not your officially channel, live yet, and you're like, I just want to give things away and show my how magnanimous I am. I already tweeted the link. We're live <laughs> officially. All right, we'll do it. Um, how are we going to give that away? I don't think anybody, uh, nobody guessed. Nobody guessed what that's from, though. James, Guess you what? should know. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I think we should ask a Witcher related question, and there's just the first person to post it in chat. I mean, even if they Google it, could. Uh, but, but what if they win? haven't played The Witcher 3? How will they know? How will they know? Yeah. That's that's the hard part. It's a mm. tough question. It, it better be a good question then. If we're giving like if we're giving The Witcher three away, it needs to be a good question. Like dig into the lore, Dave. It's it's actually um, about one. You're going to ask some lore about a game they haven't played because yeah, they yeah, it's are a trying tough to win. Question. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because they'll Google it anyway. Yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes. I, I have All an right. idea for a question. Okay, I'll I'll let you develop that, and yeah, and take time. Okay, you guys, ready to go? Yep. In five, four, three, 